Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it is from February to March 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the next month or two. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aries. What does Aries need to hear the most? February to March 2021 in money and career only. Thank you. Okay, so the card is out. We have the minstrel. Let your intentions be known. Someone might be there could be something coming in here and it might well be that you have to think about it Aries and feed back to somebody. You might have to make your mind up about something. I mean that could be in your current place of work, it could be to do with new opportunities. You might have to feed back to somebody on something, let your intentions be known. Do you want to go for this opportunity? Do you want to go for this promotion? Do you want to go for this new job? Do you want to set up a new business? You know, I'm definitely getting that kind of energy, but let's see what else we get. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries. Interesting, we have let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Mm. Maybe you've been feeling blame or something or finger pointing, maybe. There's finger pointing going on which is never healthy and you've been doing something about it. What do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. I mean it might well be for some of you you've been doing something about just letting go of that which makes you feel guilty you know and that's where you're letting your intentions be known to somebody else. Yeah we, ha yeah, we have the five of coins. It's going perfectly with this reading in, in some ways, you know. Okay. So Aries, I'm going to pull five cards. The first card is the current challenge in money and career, February to March 2021. The second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's going against you. Any obstacles to overcome? Fourth card is advice from spirit and the fifth card is the final outcome. So let's see what we get on the table. What do we have for Aries please? Angel spirits guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Your challenge. We have the emperor. Oh wow. The emperor is you by the way. That's why I was saying go wow in your challenge position. We have the seven of pentacles. The Ace of Cups, that's what's against you or any obstacles to overcome. Three of Coins is advice from Spirit. Very nice, Aries. And we have the Knight of Wands. Why does it surprise me? That goes perfectly with the Three of Coins in some ways. Bottom of the deck, we have the Aquarian energy of the King of Swords. Again, the court cards are male or female energies. Five of coins can be about job losses, can be to do with um, changes in your financial circumstances or somebody making you feel lack, low self-worth, low self-esteem, not valuing you. I'm getting that quite strongly for some of you. You're not being valued. I don't like this energy. It, it, you know, the energy feels like you know, in, in, in certainly in corporate workplaces, you know, I mean, there can be some degree of hierarchy, finger pointing, you know. 
But again, this can be to do with um, job losses, can be to do with changes in your financial circumstances. I mean, the beautiful energy of this is the church of the win the window of the church is is saying that God, the universe, the divine is watching over you, even though you feel the lack. Now, this can be to do with lack of self esteem, self worth, or not being valued. Can also be to do with changes in your financial circumstances, as I've described. So, whichever resonates for you, whichever resonates for you, Aries. So, the emperor in the, in the challenge position. I'm definitely getting this energy of someone's not letting you shine or you don't feel like you're in a position to shine. You feel... I definitely get this energy of just feeling out of sorts. Someone is making you feel lack. You know, the, uh, the Emperor can is a card of order, is a card of being in one's power, is a card of somebody who takes the initiative, has the drive, is the empire builder. But when they're out of sorts, there is chaos, you know? Um, and it definitely feels for some of you, you want to get order back in your life. You want to take the initiative. You now want to take control of a situation that may have controlled you. You want to dominate something that feels like has dominated you, has made you feel lack. In whatever way this resonates for you, Aries, and that is your challenge. But, you know, the emperor is not a defeatist energy. The emperor will keep going until he's on top. So I definitely get this energy of it's a challenge, but do what you do best, you know? Do what you do best. You have the power to shape your world. That's what the emperor does. He understands how to shape his world by his will by conducting that wonderful Mars energy. He harnesses it, shapes it, constructs his reality, makes things happen. So I definitely feel for some of you, if you're feeling the lack, if someone isn't recognizing you in your power as the emperor, there's definitely this energy of you wanting to do something about it now. You wanting to let go of something that is making you feel um, guilty, either job losses, changes in your financial circumstances, or someone or something making you feel low in terms of self-esteem, self-worth, making you feel out of sorts, not recognizing your worth. Because there's definitely an energy of taking stock here. What's of value to me in my life and what isn't now? What's worth it in my life and what isn't? Taking stock and doing something about it. Um, and focusing on that which is of value to you, where do I want to invest my time and energy and what am I not going to give my time and energy to? So for some of you, if it's been to do with the self-worth, self-lack self energy, um, blame, guilt, that kind of energy, this is where it's really making you take stock now and do something about it, taking control of a situation. This can also be to do with you're trying to bring change, you're trying to you know, bring greater growth, material success into your life. But it's frustrating, you know, it's not happening as quickly as you want to. The message is keep going. Good things come to those that are patient. And the opportunity is there. It just doesn't feel like it's being presented right now, you know, um, at this moment with these cards. So... The Ace of Cups is the cup of joy. For some of you, it feels like out of reach. For some of you, it feels like there's frustrating in getting to this. And that is what the challenge is. This can be about being tested, being challenged, um, delays, you know, that kind of energy. Um, things not moving as fast as you want them to. And yes, this Ace of Cups is a new beginning energy and it's something that is going to bring happiness again. So you want the joy, you want the happiness, you want to feel self-worth, self-love, 
uh, recognition, bond with people, happiness, you know, that kind of energy. And for some of you, it can be new creative opportunities that allow you to express who you are. Because for some of you, it doesn't feel, if this is a current workplace, you're not being allowed to express who you are. You're not being valued for what you do. Yeah. So for some of you, the obstacle is getting to that point. It's not happening quickly enough. But the message is with the three of coins, but it's coming. The three of coins is the beginnings of it happening, the beginnings of success in your physical reality. And generally the three of coins is manifesting something new. So new jobs, new careers, new business ventures, new business partnerships. This is the beginnings of success here, teamwork, collaboration. Anybody giving you advice, listen to it. That is the message with this. This is a card of priority, do one thing at a time, do things in an orderly fashion. Um, but definitely the three of pentacles is the beginnings of success in terms of money and career. And interestingly enough, it's Mars in Capricorn. So you conducting your power here to shape your reality by the sheer force of will. So there's definitely this energy here, Aries, of whatever you're facing, whatever delays or frustrations or how you're being tested, your sheer force of will can manifest this new path for yourself, um, this new beginning of success for yourself in terms of money, career, business. This is a power energy in money and career as well. Um, extra oomph, extra boost being given in that money and career area. So by your actions, by you using your practical resources, capabilities to bring this in. So that's what Spirit is telling you. It's very, very beautiful energy. And it goes with this, this final outcome, which is offers, opportunities. The Knight of Wands brings change. I love that it's a factor. It's a, it's a fire energy. Generally, this is Sagittarius for me as a reader. And, you know, for some of you, it feels like the new journey is unfolding. This is bringing in a new journey, the beginnings of manifesting a new path, a new, very successful path. Um, something that is absolutely connected to your passions, your power, holds great potential for growth. Um, exciting, something that sparks your desires, something that's very much connected to your element here. It's wands energy, fire energy, your energy. So the Knight of Wands is bringing business career opportunities to you. I love the energy here. The other thing with the Knight of Wands is it is somebody, it's a green light. So if you've been waiting on a green light, some go ahead, um, all systems go and you've been waiting for something to happen, this is suddenly, it's go, go, go. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, yeah, so very, very beautiful there, Aries. There's the change that you've been waiting for. And the message with this is, again, with this opportunity, you might want to just feedback, let your intentions be known. But I also feel with this, you will let your intentions be known in terms of how you have felt on this level. If this has been to do with not being valued, you know, can be to do with financial loss or, you know, lack in terms of or changes in terms of your money, um, salary, for example. This can also be about how you're letting go of the guilt, the blame, the lack of worth and moving forward. I love this energy. Now, the night, the, sorry, the um, King of Swords is a great energy of mental clarity. All of a sudden, everything's becoming clear. He's also a card of truth, fairness. So for some of you, it doesn't feel, I mean, there could be some, by you dealing with this situation, getting some new opportunity, manifesting uh, the beginnings of a new success, maybe in terms of a new company, new business partnerships, you know, and so on and so forth. There could be some truth revealed here. So people beginning to see the truth of the situation in terms of what you actually did. So there, it is card of fairness. Um, 
can also be somebody who is bringing in this opportunity. You know, this can be somebody in authority, a leader, um, a business person who is offering you this opportunity. And the King of Swords is somebody who is fair, fair. He will see the value of you instantly because he is somebody who understands how to read between the lines. He sees, he's a visionary, he sees people's talents. He's all about the mind. He's a strategist, a visionary, male, female energy. Um, yeah, somebody who understands how to bring success through strategy, vision, um, and so on and so forth. So very, very good energy for that, Aries. Can also be some kind of consultant or intermediary that is is involved in bringing some kind of opportunity to you so maybe recruitment consultant or business consultant you know that kind of energy as well so that might resonate for some of you too but nevertheless the change is coming the nights are all about change positive change with the knight of wands getting some green light that will help you manifest and be in your power in a new it feels like a new company or a new partnership, new team. So I love the energy. And again, fairness is restored. Love the energy. So very, very beautiful Aries. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. So I'm going to pull a final oracle card for you. Final oracle card for Aries, thank you. Final card for Aries, thank you. Definitely exciting change. Exciting change on the cards, okay. Yeah, you know, I love the energy here, Aries. We have the panther protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that we've been talking about in that reading? Um, I definitely feel, I felt that quite strongly with some of you. So the message is you are absolutely protected, but also shield yourself with that armour from those who don't deserve your attention your work you know your energy that kind of energy so we have also ladybird look all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard they have and the change is coming absolutely beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and i will see you next time thank you